Hi and welcome to another Define Tomorrow video, joined today by Stephen Peake of Barracuda. Um, we recently just recorded a video looking into um, how to protect uh, the, u the user, the human from protection. Um, the, the title was something about protect yourself from your doppelganger or something like that, I think. Yeah, anyway, yeah. the link will be sort of here or here or something like that, I'm sure, when you're watching this video. Um, what we wanted to do is show people Sentinel, so the product that you're using to protect against that human layer, um, to give people an overview of actually how it works. So, so Stephen, over to you. Yeah, sure. So what, what you can see here is uh, the Sentinel interface. Um, the first thing you'll notice is it's very simple. Uh, the whole premise of Sentinel is it's, it's an AI-driven platform okay. uh, using the likes of machine learning. And so ultimately, there's no settings for, for you to really manage like traditional uh, email protection sure. products. Uh, secondly, this is not in line with the mail flow. Again, like the traditional gateway product that would be in line with your mail coming in and out of your, your okay. email platform. Uh, this integrates directly into the Office 365 APIs which means we can see inside of every mailbox within that instance. Okay. Uh, gives us a unique perspective. And if go back to the, original, the the previous video, we talked about how it can then learn who talks to who about what. Sure. So what you can see at the top here is uh, an overview of how many mailboxes we've got protected uh, and a quarantine uh, number of spear phishing attacks we've seen sure. uh, in, a, in a period of time. This is obviously a demo system, so there's not much in there. Of course. Uh, and you can see down, down the bottom, there's a number of phishing attacks uh, v visible. And you can click on the little clipboard and you can see then an over a summary and an overview of why we've quarantined that email. Okay. And that email is ultimately about its risk. We've defined from the uh, parameters that we're checking that that email is not correct okay and so what the user will have seen is that email is no longer in their inbox it's been moved to junk or deleted dependent on preference uh, and they've had a replacement of an email saying hey we've intercepted this email and these are the reasons why and you can see here at the top where we say analysis uh, we're detecting that the 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 from address of the user is not that particular user's typical address okay uh, but we're also understanding the intent of the email sure. and the urgency. So the, this email, for instance, that I've got up on the screen, we're talking about, we're asking about availability mm -hmm. uh, and it's a special request. So we're not just, again, looking for that payload of malicious content. Mm -hmm. We're actually understanding what that email is but, asking. And building a risk factor, isn't it? Understanding actually how much risk does this email uh, impose and, and that's added up by these different risk factors to then go, look, this is significant. You uh, need to do something. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And, and so we will quarantine it and, and ultimately uh, move that out the way of the user. Sure. Again, it's it's using technology to, to aid the user from being tricked into taking that potential action yeah. because although the action itself is not malicious sure that potentially is then talking to a malicious party yeah. who will then potentially ask for another action to be carried out then following a traditional social engineering uh, attack where yeah. i've received an email saying hey can you can you t uh, do, commit this action quickly yeah and because it's quick and everybody's busy then the user replies that. hey yes sure <laughs> and then they receive a, a, an email back, oh, can you please do? Sure. Can you please make a payment? Can you please contact this person? And we've all seen it. And, and from, from my perspective, you hear about an accounts department accidentally sent a sum of money to somewhere else. But I'm also hearing it from people like builders and plumbers and stuff like that, where their accounts have been attacked and, and someone has ended up paying someone else for the extension yeah, or, or something like that. So this is a very common problem. So, so the, the, what we're seeing more and more of is uh, what we see as account compromise and okay. account takeover. And so this is that the start off with potentially a phishing email, similar to what I've just brought up on the screen, mm -hmm. um, but is asking for a user potentially to reset their Office 365 sure. credentials. They go click on the link, and all of a sudden they've gone off to a malicious site. Mm -hmm. At that point, they put their credentials in. The malicious site takes the credentials, sure. doesn't reset their password. And all of a sudden, that that third party who's after the malicious, who's committing the malicious act, yeah. have your credentials. They can get into your account. They won't necessarily go and use that account. They'll watch and learn. Sure. And like you say, builders, plumbers, yeah. uh, accountants, whoever you like, anybody, yeah, anybody, 
well, if they find out you've got an invoice, for instance, well, why not intercept it, change yeah. it, send it on? And they, they know what your invoice looks like because they've seen what you were trying to send. That they know exactly. it's just in time for exactly. the attack to work. Yeah. And so what we have in the having Sentinel as additional to the AI engine is also our account takeover okay. uh, element, which allows you to put some details in about a compromised account. Sure. Uh, and then to try and detect whether that's spread across your network okay. or across your your uh, Office 365 instance. Sure. Uh, we also have what our, our, our domain fraud uh, elements, which is we haven't got any data in the no. system. It's a demo system. For our domain fraud is about using uh, the DMARC uh, framework okay. to help defend against malicious parties using your brand. Okay. It's very much about uh, adding on top of uh, frameworks known as SPF okay, yeah. uh, and DKIM. Sure. So, so it's a, a very simple product. I think those uh, of you that are looking to buy a very, very complex product that you can turn knobs on and, and spend many hours uh, programming it, this isn't the product for you. But clearly, <laughs> for most people, they're looking for something that's simple, that's quick, that can just easily sort this problem out for them. The price has got to be right because we're layering this security solution on and we're getting lots of ticks in the boxes from that perspective. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, simplicity is part of what Barricade does. Definitely. Uh, so simple interface, simple to deploy, two or three clicks and away you go, you're connected into the Office 365 environment. The learning and, and scanning process can take a little bit of time. Sure. Minutes to hours, dependent on uh, how large an environment we're, we're, we're interfacing with. But ultimately, that doesn't matter whether you're a small business or a large business, that process is the same. Okay. Uh, which means the deployment is simple, straightforward, and from the moment we finish that scan, mm -hmm. Sentinel is doing its job of protecting you. Fantastic. Well, thank you ever so much for that demonstration today. If you'd like any more information about Sentinel or any of the Barracuda products, please head over to computerworld.co.uk. Thank you.